The time when the geopolitical situation is more fragmented and more uncertain than ever, keeping your finger on the pulse is really valuable to any business leader. When you look at the world that we live in and the pace of change that's occurring in the world, the forum allows you to stay on the forefront of that. We join simply because there are no other organizations like this in the world. It's a starting point where you can showcase, it's where you can bring a problem to the table and really get good insights and you can inspire action. I'm on the advisory council for the Gender Parity Group and I think World Economic Forum has done a tremendous job in bringing that issue to those of us who are business leaders and thinking about business performance. A cross industry platform allows you to understand the impact those have upon your business, upon your country, upon your region, upon the world. India has put together a program to build out 160 gigawatts of clean energy. So the forums focus upon how will India finance this and then try to bring together multiple stakeholders to drive cross-learning is a great initiative that tries to bring together the power of the platform. The World Economic Forum created a group specifically focused on financial inclusion. We were able to work on tangible programs and exchange information that really has advanced the issue forward. You know, I've been a big driver of ASEAN and I saw the World Economic Forum as a fantastic place to bring the different subsets of people. We've now got ministers, businessmen from 10 different countries actively involved in trying to push ahead with the economic union. We haven't been able to do that in other forums. I have met some of the most important CEOs of the tourism industry uh, here at the forum. So we've been able to engage with them and then bring the view of the private sector community into the World Bank Group offering on sustainable tourism. The forum itself has managed to catch the idea which will be dominant and extremely important in several years to come. And it allows us to get these insights and prepare for the fast change in the world. If we are not innovative, if we are not creative enough, it will be very difficult to survive in this century. World Economic Forum is in the best position to meet a lot of these challenges that the Fourth Industrial Revolution is going to bring. That's why the World Economic Forum decided to create this Fourth Industrial Revolution Institute right here in San Francisco. We're going to be able to help guide and lead all of the world's stakeholders and have this discussion on how do we bring this to a new level. We're really engaged in the discussion where we feel we can bring our thoughts, our ideas, our innovation to make an impact on the world. The conversations here today will prepare us to think differently so that no matter what happens, we'll all be able to adapt both individually and as a collective.